Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am going to be sharing with you my very first mail call video. In case you're not familiar with what mail call is, every month I'm going to have a theme and everybody can send me cards for that theme before the end of the month. And then at the beginning of the next month, I'll have a video featuring all of those cards. So the theme for this month was thank you cards. And like I said before, this is the very first mail call video. If you ever want to take part in the mail call, or if you want to find out what the theme is, or just more information in general, you can check that out on my website. I've decided to start posting the themes two months in advance. I think this will make it a little bit easier for my subscribers that are international to get me their cards on time. Just make sure to include in the card somewhere what month your card is for so that I can keep track. Also, if you happen to be a younger crafter, please include your age so that I can let everybody know. Okay, so let's get into the cards that were sent to me. This first one comes from Lisa, and she decided to make kind of a masculine thank you card, which I think is really awesome because I personally really struggle making masculine cards, and she did a really good job. It looks like she did some alcohol ink blending on this, and I really like the blend she managed to get. I also really like the dimension she has on the word you. It looks like she die cut a few of those out and glued them together in order to get that dimension. She also had a question for me. She asked if I planned on donating these cards. At this point, I don't have any plans on doing that, but I do want to look into that. That does sound like something that I want to do. This next card is from Rosalie, and it looks like she used some alcohol inks as well. I also really like the effect that she got with the alcohol inks. I think it's a completely different look, but it's still beautiful. It looks like she used a gold metallic mixative. You can kind of see the shine on it when I move the card around. And then she took this thank you die and cut it out of that white paper and then placed it on top of some gray cardstock. And she has a little bow on the top. I really like this card. It's really pretty. Another thing that I was really impressed with was the stamp that she has on the back. She has this personalized stamp with her name on it, and I really love that. I would love to get something like that for my cards. And Rosalie is actually from Germany, and I was really happy that she was able to get me this card in that short amount of time. This next card is from Debbie, and she did this really pretty winter-themed thank you card. I think that the die cut on this is crazy. It is so intricate, and I love anything with snowflakes. I also really like that she included this list of supplies that she used to make this card. Though even with that supplies list, I'm not exactly sure how she created this background. It looks like it's on a glossy cardstock. It could be a specialty paper, or she could have created it. I'm not sure, but it's this really pretty blue color, and it has these kind of water splotches on it. I don't know how she made it, but I love it. I really like the way that she embellished this card with all of those half pearls. It looks like she used a couple strings of half pearls, and then she used some single ones. I really like that. I love the winter look to the thank you card. That's not something you see often with thank you cards. Okay, so the next cards, there's actually two of them, and these were made by Cindy. And she wanted to kind of do two cards that are similar, but have a little bit different of a look to each of them. And she did have a question for me. She asked me if I'll be doing mail call every month. And I am going to be doing it every month for the foreseeable future. If something happens like it's not very popular or people aren't really liking it, or if I'm just getting far too many cards, I might have to stop it in the future. But for now, I plan on doing it every month. All right, so look at these cards that she did. I really love the images that are on them. They're so cute. I'm not sure where she got these images. I'm going to have to ask her, but they are adorable. The images are really sparkly. It looks like she might have added some glitter brush pen, either a Wink of Stella or maybe a Spectrum Noir. Not completely sure what kind, but I really like the sparkle on those. It looks like she might have created those sky backgrounds with some blending and maybe a stencil. And then she added those two sentiments on the top of each of the cards. And I really like that one sentiment that says, thanks for all you do. I love a good pun sentiment. 
This next card was created by Marissa Bell, also known as Witchinary. She's a friend of mine over on Instagram. She made this card using mostly paper from a paper pack. I think that that's really hard to do and she did such a good job. I really like that she added different layers of dimension with those flowers and also she decorated the inside of the card. I also really need to mention the envelope that she sent this in. I am always really impressed with the envelopes that she creates. She has this gorgeous calligraphy handwriting and I don't know what kind of ink she used but it is beautiful. I want to make envelopes like this. Sadly, my calligraphy does not look that good. I need to practice. So yeah, this card was by Witchinary, and if you liked it, I suggest you look her up. She does have a YouTube channel as well. So this next card was created by Kim, and it is gorgeous. I love the colors on this card. It is just really vibrant. Also, I was just really mesmerized by the glitter on these leaves. I'm not exactly sure what she used to do the glitter for these. It's a very colorful glitter. I don't think it's Wink of Stella because Wink of Stella is more of a silvery or a gold color. And this has some actual different colors of the rainbow in it. So I'm not sure what she used for that. Also, the paper that she used for the leaves has some really nice texture on it. If I had to guess, I'd say that the background was created with Distress Oxide inks, but I could be wrong. I just really like the colors that she used. I think that they're so bright. I also really like that whimsical sentiment. I like how it kind of curves. All right, so the next card was created by Daniel, a.k.a. Del and Artie. He also has a YouTube channel, and he's one of my friends on Instagram. And I actually saw him create this in an Instagram Live. I really love the geometric shapes that he used, and I also really love the metallic watercolors that he used. You can really see them shine when I move that card around. So he stamped the hexagons in the background with Versamark ink and embossed them in a white embossing powder. And I actually didn't notice in the video, but they have some really nice texture on them. And then he has that vellum piece on the side, which he also embossed some of the hexagons on, and then he popped it up with some foam tape. One other thing that I really like is I really like that he mounted that on a gold paper. It really brings out the gold that's actually in the paint. I think that that was a really nice touch. This next card is from Dawn Marie, and she is also a friend of mine and a YouTuber, and she's also over on Instagram, and she created this beautiful card with these fall leaves. I love all of the different colors that she got on these leaves. I think that they're gorgeous. I'm not exactly sure how she made the leaves. I think if I had to guess, I'd say she used a layering stamp set and maybe did some kind of watercoloring effect with the stamp, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong about that. And then she definitely went over those leaves with some glitter at the end. She also used some kind of embossing folder on the background. I really like that texture on the white. And then I really like the placement of her embellishments. Sometimes it's really difficult to figure out where to put embellishments, and she nailed it. Okay, so that was Dawn Marie. You should check her out. I'm pretty sure her channel is Dawn Marie's Crafty Corner. And then this next card was created by Heather. And wait until you see this. It is gorgeous. So Heather did some crazy, ridiculous watercoloring on this card. It is beautiful. I was really impressed. It looks like she did no line watercoloring, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of watercolors she used, but she did such a good job. You can't see the lines, and she's got perfect shading, and these, these images are just really adorable. I think that little bunny is my favorite. And then look, she also did something on the inside of the card and she colored that in as well. And then I really like the sentiment and how she embossed that in a gold embossing powder. One thing that she did that I thought was really smart was she put this piece of paper around her card. And this is just like a really thin piece of probably computer paper. And I think that that's really great to protect the artwork. And then she just put that into the envelope with that paper over the top of it. 
Okay, so that's the last card that was sent to me for this month's mail call. If you sent me a card and you didn't see it in this video, I'm really sorry it didn't reach me in time. But if I do get it within the next few weeks, I'll be sure to add it to next month's video. And I'll just add it to the beginning and mention that it was for this month. If you'd like to send me a card for next month's mail call video, the theme for November is going to be Christmas cards. And just like this past month, you have until the end of the month to send me that card. And then at the very beginning of December, I'll be filming that mail call video. Thank you for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed my first mail call video. Please be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions at all about mail call or if you just have any feedback for me. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a great day today.